If you're working in Premiere in 2025 and you have the newest version, which is 25.5 at the moment, you will have this new built-in Film Impact dashboard that will offer you tons of different transition options, effect options, and not only that, but you can see a preview of what they are right here in this panel. So this is a cool add-on. It's one of my favorite new things in Premiere, and it used to be available um, as a plugin by Film Impact, but they were bought out by Premiere, and now we all get it for free. So, or, you know, with our paid subscription. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to show you what it does and how to use this. If you go into your effects panel, you'll see that these are also available there. You could search FI or Film Impact, and you will see all of these new effects listed out. But I don't prefer working this way. I really like this dashboard because I like to see the previews while I work. And if you want this dashboard and you don't see it, go up to Window, go to Extensions, and make sure Film Impact Dashboard is checked off. And then you will see these beautiful effects. If you have the Effects option selected, you'll see all of the different effects, or you can go in one by one, type by type, and see them that way as well. Same deal with transitions. So let's get started. Let's animate this Premiere logo here. Uh, first off, we're going to start with transitions for the beginning and the end. So with this layer selected, I'm going to go into my transitions, and I like animation for logos. So let's do a nice pop animation. With the layer selected, I'm going to hit apply. And now I can see there's animation at the beginning and the end here, and it all already looks pretty good, but you can adjust the timing by just grabbing the handle of that beginning and end section and moving it. So I can make it a little faster and shorter by just hovering over the edge of it and moving it in and out, changing the duration. Um, and if I wanted an animation, say, in the middle, I can use a transition as well, uh, which is kind of cool. So if you have two different clips, this is also applicable to you. So if you have two separate clips and you want them to have a transition in between, or if you have one clip and you want it to be animated in between, you can cut it in half, or those two separate clips you can just select. So I'm going to select both clips like that, just a box select, make sure they're both selected, and I'm going to go to a different animated transition. Let's go with this one, and I'm going to hit apply. And because they were both selected, that transition was applied between the two of them. And look at that. You can see that animation was added in the middle. So now if I play, I'm getting the pop, I'm getting that spin, and then the out. So that is one way to use a transition uh, within a clip by cutting it in half or between two different clips. Uh, and I think that's really cool. But what if I don't want that. I'm just going to undo it. And before I move on to just the regular effects, I want to note that transitions can be altered by just going in and clicking them. So they're separate here. You can click the transition on your own and then go into effect controls and that transitions controls will be available here. So you can alter so many things about the transition and I would suggest playing around with this. I like having motion blur enabled. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can hit surprise me and have it generate just a random seed of what this effect can do. So I can hit surprise me as many times as I want. Look at the way the graph changes. And if I play it out, that's kind of fun and interesting. Not bad. Okay, so that's a cool thing. What if I want to add just a basic regular effect here? I have my layer selected. I'm going back into my dashboard and I'm going to go into effects. And let's go with motion effects since this is a logo animation and they just seem to make sense here. And I like this spin. Let's do a spin. I'm going to apply it and you could see it already started to be applied and it's moving a little slow. So I want to change that. But in order to change that, I don't click on anything in, in particular here. I just click on my whole layer, go into effect controls, 
and go down and you'll see that this effect was now added to the layer. So here it is, here's all my options. I can hit the surprise me button and see what happens, which is a fun idea. Whoa. <laughs> I kind of like that. And um, let's do another surprise me. Cool. So you can do all sorts of things here and you can play with the options yourself to see what you like. You don't have to do the surprise me. That's just something I like to do, but it's a great way to experiment. And like I said, uh, there's so many options here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but there are some really great ones. And especially if you're doing cuts between two different shots, like I said, make sure you select both of those shots and apply the transition, if it's a transition, between the two. And then you'll be able to edit it by just clicking on the transition itself and going into your effect controls. I hope that you guys found this useful and uh, I hope you have a lot of fun playing around with this. I'm so glad that Premiere brought this into their software because it's going to save me a lot of time and it's just great. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I really do appreciate you guys watching and check out my playlist in Premiere for more like this. If you want to support me and see what I've been working on, check out my explainer video channel.